So here we have an alternative for Creed's Green Irish Tweed. This is a fragrance that I've loved wearing for many, many years. I think the 100 ml sells for like 450 bucks. And this is the 120 ml, which is now out of production. And here we have a fragrance by Dossier called Green Verbena. It sells for 49 bucks. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on it and I'll let you know how close it comes to Green Irish Tweed. So make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin my review of Green Verbena by Dossier and I tell you all about this fragrance, how close I think it comes to Green Irish Tweed, and I tell you what occasions I like to wear it in, so on and so forth, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like reviews, top 10s and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. While you're at it, make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell and give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. So here we have a brand called Dossier. They make their impression of more popular designer and niche fragrances. Oftentimes they go after some of the more expensive brands on the market. And of course, Creed is a brand that's been around for a very long time. And they also have very expensive fragrances. So Green Irish Tweed is one of my favorites. Of course, there's also Erofa, Aventis, Virgin Island Water, Himalaya and I love many of their fragrances. Here we have Green Verbena, which is their impression of Green Irish Tweed. It's concentrated at 18%. And one thing that I do like about Dossier is that they also give you a sample. You can wear the sample, and if you're not satisfied with the fragrance, you can return the box, no questions asked. I love their refund policy, and they give you the opportunity to sample the fragrance before deciding whether or not you wanna hold on to the bottle, or you can just get a very quick and free and easy refund. So Green Verbena is the fragrance we're talking about today. This is their impression of Green Irish Tweed. And of course, <laughs> Smells like Green Irish Tweed. Their fragrance also comes with this card. And so the notes, ver verbena, green leaves, peppermint, orris, violet leaves, aquatic accord, pretty much what you would expect from Green Irish Tweed. Sandalwood, gray amber, and patchouli in the base. Gray amber is also known as amber gris. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell and let you know how close I think it comes to Green Irish Tweed. Let's start with the presentation. So one thing you'll notice is that I actually have both of them here. I've been wearing GIT or Green Irish Tweed for many, many years. Very familiar with its profile. I know how it smells like the back of my hand. And so I'm also gonna be doing a side-by-side. -side. I sprayed this about 20 or 25 minutes ago. And so you will see me smelling both of these just so I can sort of try to gauge at what the similarity uh, is like or the contrast is like between these two. So we'll start off with Green Verbena by Dossier. And certainly it opens up very green. You have that Lemon Verbena, you have that clean, smooth, professional violet leaf note. And then you have that refreshing, slightly salty and oceanic amber grease note or gray amber note in the base of the fragrance that is also found in Green Irish Tweed as well as many other Creed fragrances. So it's green, it's aromatic, it's fresh, it's professional, it's gentlemanly, it's distinguished. And there's also a bit of an earthiness too, a little patchouli, Something on the green side, maybe even oak moss, not listed in the note breakdown, but there is a green quality about it, hence the name of the fragrance, Green Irish Tweed. Now let's move over to the real thing. So with Green Irish Tweed, you get that same citrusy flavor in the opening, that lemon verbena, that bergamot, that Florentine iris, and it opens up very clean, very professional, and you're almost like in the middle of a lush garden and you're surrounded by this freshly growing uh, grass and you're in the middle of nature, but it smells very distinguished, very elegant, very professional. And the thing that I have to admit to is that in the opening, Green Irish Tweed opened much more green, much more earthy. The verdant quality of the fragrance was much more pronounced. And you can smell a difference in the opening. Now, 
When I let it settle for about 10 minutes, so before I hit the record button, I smelled it again, and they smell very similar. I would say in the opening, the similarities were about 70 or 75%. Now the similarities are somewhere between 90 and 95%. Another thing to keep in mind is that with Creed, especially when you're buying the more expensive niche fragrance that is hundreds and hundreds of dollars, they work with factories that have um, captive ingredients or captive molecules, which means that even though other brands might try to reverse engineer these fragrances, it will never be 100% might be 97%, 98%, might not be 100%. And I think that that's something that is quite widely known in the fragrance industry, but also the perfume community here on YouTube and elsewhere. And so does the dossier version come close to Green Irish Tweed? Yes, it comes very, very close. Is it a better alternative to Green Irish Tweed than Cool Water by Davidoff? Yes. Is it a better alternative to Green Irish Tweed than Aspen by Cody? Yes. Is it a better alternative to Green Irish Tweed than Giorgio uh, Beverly Hills? Yes. It smells very, very similar to Green Irish Tweed in the vein of 92 to 95%, something like that. Very, very close. Is it 100% the same as Green Irish Tweed? No, but I think for 49 bucks with a really good refund policy, you can't go wrong with Green Verbena. I think they came very, very close to Green Irish Tweed, and I think it's a very versatile fragrance, very professional smelling. You can wear it all year round, of course, with a name like Green Irish Tweed. I like to wear it in the springtime. People often call it, and myself included, the king of spring, right? I think it's amazing for the springtime, but I think it's also a very good year-round fragrance, especially if you're wearing it indoors in a climate-controlled environment. I personally love it. I have been a fan of Green Irish Tweed for many, many years. I purchased my bottle, what, eight years ago, seven years ago? So I love it. And I think Green Verbena is a solid fragrance to wear in place of Green Irish Tweed. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, <laughs> not unique because it is a clone. Uh, they tried to recreate the smell of Green Irish Tweed to the best of their ability, and I think they did a pretty darn good job. Overall smell, incredibly pleasant. Compliment getter, perfect for the office, very professional. If you're working at a dealership, if you're working as a CEO, if you're the boss of a company, managerial position, it just conveys that CEO demeanor, that CEO slash boss attitude that I really love about Green Irish Tweed and now the clone of Green Irish Tweed. Longevity on it is about seven hours. Projection is great for the first hour and a half. It will radiate within an arm's length. It doesn't fill a room, but I think if you want to smell clean and professional, you don't want your fragrance to be overly loud or boisterous or anything like that. In terms of the versatility, perfect for the springtime, but I think you can wear it all year round. It does lean a little bit traditionally masculine, but if you're a woman who loves the way that it smells, by all means, Please wear it, wear what you love, wear what makes you happy. My personal philosophy is that all fragrances are unisex. I think this one is perfect for somebody who's a little bit older as well as a young professional gentleman or gentlewoman as well. And then in terms of the presentation, very simplistic presentation, but I think it's also one of the factors and variables that keeps the price so low. So my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are looking for an alternative to Creed's Green Irish Tweed, if you like the way that Green Irish Tweed smells and you don't mind purchasing something that comes 92 to 95% similar to the real thing for a fraction of the price, check out Green Verbena by Dossier. Get a sample of it, try it out in any way that you can. All of the links and information is gonna be down below. So thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you took something of value from this video. If you did, please do consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. Click on that red button. It would really mean a lot to me. And also if you can hit that notification bell and enable all notifications so that you don't miss any of my future uploads, that'll mean a lot to me as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you took something of value from this video too. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time.